Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out on Lake Huron. We've got the Wakira uh, 250 Pro. We've got the ground station set up. I've got 12 satellites. So I'm going to go ahead and arm this puppy. Okay, we've got it armed now. I'm going to go ahead and take it up. I've put it in GPS mode, I think. Whoops. Nope, wrong switch. All right. I think I've now got it in GPS mode. And we just kind of let it settle in there. I'm going to try to check the screen out a little bit. And one, two's GPS mode. So let's just kind of test it. So, yep. It kind of holds in GPS mode and just kind of practicing with it. I mean, I haven't had too much time flying this guy. And so we got some screen recording going of the uh, telemetry. So you see in the telemetry. And we're just kind of letting it hold in there. We'll take it up a little bit more. We'll let it sit in there. And uh, let's take it out over the water a little bit. I'm not going to get too fancy there because. Uh, so let's uh, take it up a little bit more. And we'll let it sit in. And we'll, so, so we'll spin it around. And that's one thing I like is I got the headlight, so I know it's pointing back towards me. I just really wish I could get a better altitude hold on this bird. So it kind of locks in like the spark, because I really don't want to be Mr. Steel. But again, we can come racing back in this way. And if you call it racing, it's not too fast. And what we'll do is we'll spin it back around. And then we'll race it back out over the water towards those sailboats. Yeah, I, hear, I don't know if that's a plane or a boat. I hear something. So I'm going to bring this back in towards me. I'm still pretty low, so um, I have checked over. I'm good to go. But this is a Class A E airspace at... 700 feet, so I'm good to 400 feet. So I definitely still hear a plane. I don't see it, so I'm going to bring this guy down a little bit just in case. He must be pretty high if I can't see him, but I can definitely hear him. Oh, yeah, I see him way up there. He's, uh, yeah, he's quite a ways up there. So he's, he's well within Class E, so that's good. So I'm just going to wait for him to pass a little bit. He's passing over top of me now. So he'll be out of my airspace in a little bit. So again, you want to be respectful of, uh, you know, aircraft. You know, make sure you yield the right way, even though you're not flying too high. He's now, he's now out behind me, so, uh, so that's good. So before my battery gets too low... I want to take this guy back up and, and do another pass out over the lake. You just kind of fly it out there. So. We'll take it a little bit further. And we'll turn this guy back around. So it's headed back towards me and then we'll bring him back. And. You know, outside of the nervousness, this is a lot of fun to fly. And I say the nervousness, just making sure the plane isn't turning around and coming back and it's still behind me. Because uh, I'm still way under below 100 feet and he's behind me. So I just, again, want to make sure I'm yielding the right way. And so, uh, anyways, this, this bird is a lot of fun. It takes a little bit more than the spark to fly. Uh, but that's also a little bit of fun. And uh, if I did it a little bit more often, I think it'd be more fun than... Uh, not so uh let's bring it back this way and let's raise it up a little bit
And uh, let's give it a punch out. Give Norbert a little bit of a yaw party there. I forgot my sunglasses in the car, so it's a, the sun's a little bit hard on my eyes right now. And so we're just kind of whipping this around. And again, if you got some open space, this is a lot of fun. You know, and the GPS kind of keeps it in bounds. So, uh, you know, if I let off the stick, it basically does this. Now, as you see, it ri it's rising a little bit because of the, uh, the throttle. But uh, I'm getting down there in battery a little bit, so I'm going to bring it back towards me. I'm getting about 8 to 10 minutes of flight time out of it. And let's go ahead and put it down on the ground. And... Let's go ahead and lock it. So another great flight of the Wakira 250 over the lake. I tell you what, uh, for the Old Man's FPV Club, this copter is a lot of fun to fly. So uh, definitely big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking. Again, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch today. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Get one of these. Cheers.